Yo, what is up YouTube? My name's Aaron and today I am fulfilling a promise I made in one of these videos down here. I'm not too sure which one it was, but it was where I was going to build a computer for you guys for less than a thousand dollars. Now, I'm not physically building it, but I am showing you guys the parts. So if you guys are looking for a gaming PC for under a thousand dollars and you're wanting something that will last you many, many years, then stay tuned to this video. So first off, the thing that I think I, I've got these labeled in uh, their important value, I guess you would say. So the first one, I know it could be something else, but it's an operating system and I have chosen Windows 10. So I don't know if you can tell or not. No, you can't in the video. I am actually running on Windows 10 and I love it. I started out with Windows 8.1 Pro and you know it was good I liked it for what it was and then now I have Windows 10 Pro and it is amazing now the most important part and I'm gonna be showing you guys the most important part from all these pieces and this is the hard part of building a gaming PC because people don't know about these important sub layers you know be, might people might just see Windows 10 and be like oh yeah that's what I need but what you need to be looking at here is the 64-bit system it's going to mean that you can actually use all of your computer resources so all these parts flawlessly because if it's 32 bit then you know RAM starts to have a problem and speed overall starts to go down especially when gaming so next up we have the power supply this is right here is what's going to build or what is going to power all of the devices within inside of the computer and I decided to go with 750 watts just in case you want to upgrade now something about wattage on computers you're supposed to be able to look up and see exactly what power supply you need so you do not waste money or you do not waste wattage but the problem with that is you cannot upgrade let's say you wanted the best graphics card like you've built this and you're like okay I've been using this for a few years now I want to upgrade the graphics card well if you get something that over it goes over the cap that that website said and let's say you get like a 450 watt power supply you would also have to buy a power supply so this is kind of future proof also the key word here is modular and uh, 80 plus bronze is good that's something to do with saving money through power or something like that you know and as you can see down here you can see how the price varies through each one but the semi modular is you know it's not fully modular it's because you see this little motherboard cord right here so everything else like your graphics card and actually it looks like it's only going to be graphics card modular so if you wanted a full modular and like the one I have in my computer is a 1300 watt because I never want to buy another power supply um, it's fully modular and you know you only use cables for what you need and that's what this thing has here so it's semi modular and it will last you a very long time next up we have the motherboard now this is the new Skylake motherboard that is the important thing to take from this and just knowing that it's a Skylake DDR4 um, I'm trying to find out where right here see I know these numbers but uh, the average user might not I did not see the numbers right here but it is Skylake and this is what you need so as you can see it does come with the ability if your graphic or if your CPU has integrated graphics it does come with a ton of expansion slots so as you can see here it looks like we have HDMI that could be uh, definitely DVI and VGA and mini display port and as you can see you have plenty of USB ports right here and I guess those top two right there are for gaming like your gaming mouse and keyboard and the rest are just fully upgradable and it also looks like it has USB-C right there if you can see underneath the Ethernet jack all the way down USB-C so this motherboard is future proof and as you can see here we have four PCI slots so if you are three my bad PCI slots so if you want to be running three graphics cards you sure can this is also something future proof next up we have the processor now I've chosen to go with an i5 because I think the i7 is a little bit uh, you know kind of a waste of money because and not necessarily not necessarily but right here the LGA that's what I was looking for on the motherboard 1151 means that this is uh, set for Skylake motherboards and that's very important when picking a processor so this the key thing that that's the key thing to take the next thing to see resolution up to 4k so it has on board integrated graphics not your graphics card whenever you 
whenever I go to the graphics card, it will change, but it does have integrated 4K options. Also, you can turbo boost it, which I did not include a uh, CPU cooler in this so I would not recommend that now if you do want to go up and get a CPU cooler I can for sure show you what you need to get next up is your RAM now this is where it's going to get a little bit flexible you can either decide to get a 16 gigabyte kit which I have recommended here or you can go ahead and get an 8 to a 4 but 16 is future proof I can just let you guys know I have never went over or up to 8 gigabytes yet and I hardcore game on my PC so the most important thing to take from here is the two times and this number right here can change it could be 8 16 just the two times whenever you use two graphic or two rams uh, two memory sticks that sounds a little bit better um you are also it's splitting the information between two and it's a little bit more flexible so the question arises is it good to use one eight gigabyte or two or one 16 gigabyte stick of ram or two eight and it's always going to be two eight now i think this motherboard can supply up to four i don't see why it could not yes you can see four right there on the right hand side so it can go up to four so you can get this and if you would later want to upgrade buy this exact set again and also an important number to take from this is 1866 megahertz and the cl10 now 1866 is about a midway set of ram i would i think the top one is 2100 and something and the bottom is 16,000 or 1600 megahertz also with some strange second digit but the cl10 is good i'm not too sure what that means i think it's something to do with speed also it helps with this so anyone that's technologically advanced that actually knows what the cl10 stands for i do know the lower it goes the better next up we have the graphics card now this i have chosen the 960 and the reason for that is because it's a good modest graphics card it's for a good price two hundred dollars and it's pretty much going to last you through any game i don't think you're going to be able to play black ops 3 on ultra but even if you had like a titan i would not recommend playing mini games on ultra i think a good high is great but ultra tends to start wearing down graphics cards a little bit also if you play on low it can wear down your graphics card because you're going to be getting like 150 frames per second and that's just going to heat that thing up and probably deal some damage next up two terabyte ssd hd that's the important thing to take from this and it's going to last you through all of your steam games through all of your videos if you decide to do videos and it's going to be a really good hard drive and the fact that it's a hard drive but also an ssd makes it a hybrid hybrid and the fact that it has two terabytes means you're going to be keeping this thing for a very long time you're not going to fill up anytime soon and you could be able to play games as much as you want next up we have the case which all of this goes in now for this case you can change the case this is the one thing you can change but just make sure it's a full atx case or a mid tower case most mid tower cases are full atx so you will be good there so as you can see this is not the build but it's how it's going to be set up in there so it's a good case it's corsair great name and if you have any problems with it corsair will be happy to replace this item next up this is the one thing i hate building onto pcs i have only used my dvd drive one time and that was to install windows and then and the, the disc that came with the motherboard to allow me to use my uh, network card you know so everything's good there I just mm, you could take it back if you want to or you can keep it mine's still in there just in case I might need to use a recovery disc I don't think I will but it is in there and this is your cart $980 this right here will last you a very long time and also because every part is modular if you ever want to upgrade this to let's say like a 980 or you just want to spend a thousand dollars and get a titan i would not recommend you can do that so right here's the case but there's an added bonus and the added bonuses are a mouse and i would recommend this because of these two buttons right here you can have one if you're playing cod for knife and the other one for like throwing a grenade or something like that i do like using side buttons and that is one stipulation whenever i go and buy a mouse it needs to have at least two side buttons next up is the keyboard another corsair name brand this is a mx i think it's a cherry ah uh, let's see here yeah cherry so this is a mechanical keyboard 
really good cherry i think is like a good medium between all the other or red i think i think the actual thing is called red and cherry is yeah cherry it's a good medium between all the other types of mechanical keyboards and i would recommend this to anyone wanting to game and it's backlit so it's going to look really cool next to that case let's see here yeah red fans and this keyboard is going to glow red so the last item and this definitely is not going to be included included in this build because of how expensive it is but if you're wanting a great gaming monitor look no further than the bnq rl2460 ht zero flicker gaming monitor this is the exact monitor i use for console gaming and it has not let me down it also includes an hdmi out for recording videos and it is amazing It's by far my most favorite monitor i have ever had and i use three monitors for my setup i have two which i'm working on right now two for my pc one for gaming i think i'm going to pick up another benq another one of these and add it to the middle of my other two pc monitors so i'll have a benq to game on on the pc and a benq to game on on my console now this monitor is about 300 and some odd dollars but you can find it on amazon for about i don't know 200 and something it's just give or take the price goes up and down with this because it is a luxury item they can charge whatever they want so if you guys need help on building this the comment section will be open if you need help on any other parts like ask me if this part works with this part it can work and if you trust me which it's hard to do if you're looking to build a computer and you do not know how nor does anyone that you hang out with or can get in close relation to you could honestly we could work out something i don't know you could send me paypal i could build this i can have this all sent to my house build it and then ship it to you no charge well i mean you'd have to pay for shipping but no extra builder's fee i think i would love to do this for you guys i love building pcs i've got about three or four now and every time it's better so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you guys will get this if you can it's a good christmas gift just send this card look through get every single item word for word pause the video i'm going to scroll through real quick send this to your parents send this to your grandparents send this to your i don't know your wife your husband whatever you guys have and try to get this for christmas i know it is a 980 dollars computer when you could possibly buy a 500 400 300 xbox or ps4 and pretty much play games but p once you start pc gaming you never go back and i hate to say that because it's so much better but the only reason why i still play console is for youtube and to play with some of my other friends that do not have gaming pcs yet but trust me if my friends if the majority group of my friends hopped on the pc gaming wagon i probably would not touch my xbox one so hopefully you guys enjoyed this subscribe if you haven't already and if you see anything i'm missing i don't think i'm missing anything i'll probably will think of something and i might have something down in the comment section i'll try my best to put all of these links down in the comment section for you guys to click on and buy so you don't have to like type in all this stuff so just subscribe if you haven't already comment if you're wanting to get a gaming pc comment if you want to see something under you know like maybe a, a 500 i have built a 500 computer before or not built it physically but put together one sent the list to someone they bought it they put it together and everything is running good so let me know down in the comment section sorry this is such a long video i was planning on doing all the searches and stuff and it ended up being like a 40 minute video so hope you guys enjoy this it is just subscribe peace